How's it going guys? Today is May 15th, 2.58 p.m. here on the East Coast. I'm trying to get a couple of vlogs done. I didn't get a chance to post one yesterday. Sundays I try to uh, work and then focus on uh, family time. Plus it was Mother's Day, so took some uh, the ladies out to, uh, to dinner. So I didn't get a chance to post one yesterday. So um, I'll be posting uh, two today. But the first one... I'd like to uh, post it. I just started this leadership class, so sometimes I'll be uh, I'll be watching videos and, and reading up information, and I'll pass on uh, what I think is uh, knowledgeable to a certain extent or how I can relate to it. So um, I watched a video yesterday as a part of this uh, leadership course that I'm taking through college, um, and um, the gist that I got from it is that you have to learn to follow um, before you can lead. And I found that uh, to hold very true within the military. They don't just uh, put you into a leadership position uh, unless you come in a, as an officer, but then you had a certain amount of schooling and uh, things that took place prior to you even getting that officer position, and you will be thrown into that leadership position kind of right away. But for the enlisted side of the house, um, you typically um, start off as some sort of private or a specialist at best, and then uh, eventually on down the road, you will be tossed into a leadership position. So um, even in line with that, um, even the officers that get thrown in, they have to learn how to follow before they can lead. Um, and they'll end up being lieutenants for quite some time before they're given a, uh, in the Army a captain position to where they're actually in charge of uh, a decent amount of people and leading uh, people. Um, but it is uh, uh, very true that you have to learn to follow before you can lead. Um, and the most notorious uh, leaders um, were all followers at some point in time, even if they had this idea that didn't um, seem so logical at that point in time and it was trend setting, they still were followers before that to come up with an idea. Um, and maybe followed some other people down a path to where it was um, it enabled them to to have the faith uh, within themselves to be leaders. Uh, and I think we're all capable of being leaders, and we all lead uh, at least our lives. And sometimes we are leaders in other people's lives. And learning how to follow and taking notes, um, both good and bad, from the uh, good leaders that you encounter as well as the uh, bad leaders that you encounter. Sorry about that. I've never gotten a message or call before. I don't know that's about. But um, both encountering and, and encountering the good leaders and bad leaders that uh, we have, uh, that have uh, come across our, our way is kind of what shapes us into the leaders of, that we become because we end up taking both from the good and the bad leaders that we encounter and then we develop our own leadership strategies to help lead other people um, and leading people um, especially parents you are leaders in your uh, children's lives they look up to you for leadership and to help them get certain things done and you're you're the first line of uh, defense I would call it or instruction Whenever it comes to your child's learning uh, stuff initially within the first couple of years before they go on to a school like setting, um, you are that leader. And depending on what you show them, teach them and lead them to do is kind of where they will uh, fall into in the future. So um, and you end up following your parents and picking up your type of style for parenting slash leading. Um, along the way so you inevitably you have to follow in order to be able to lead successfully um, and then you'll be thrown into these leadership positions whether you realize it or not and it's how you do there that that your peers and your kids will be reflected on you if you're not happy with the performance of your kid or your peers or the people that you're in charge of then maybe it's a reflection of your leadership style, and that's just something to reflect uh, with, with within upon. I know that I ha if I had uh, uh, misbehaved soldiers, 
um, my leadership style would call for some sort of corrective measures to counter that or make them think about it or counsel them, um, which is some sort of form of, uh, I would call it mentoring, but in the military they call it counseling. When you sit down and you talk to them about their actions and behaviors um, from a leadership standpoint so they can best be guided into um, eventually they they would be the ones um, to take over leadership roles in the future. So a lot of uh, things go into um, leadership and, and following, but to, the gist of this is that you have to learn to follow. Take from the good and bad that you experience in your life and develop your own leadership style. Um, I said you, you know, uh, in reflecting on this vlog, you learn at a very young age to follow. Um, follow what your parents do, follow what the uh, kids around you do, follow your teachers and their instructions, and eventually you form into your own leader where you're now responsible for yourself and possibly other people below you. And how you develop your leadership styles just depends on um, the good and the bad that you pulled from the leaders that you encountered along the way. So that'll be it for the first vlog for today. I apologize for that call. I do manage a Facebook account from for my job and sometimes that was the first time that's ever happened and uh, of course for my first time of that ever happening it happened to be while I was recording a vlog but um, distractions are real um, and I don't believe in cutting that stuff out I like to give you guys the raw uncut footage um, as best as I can unless I have a severe distraction that um, I'll just stop recording and, and end up re-recording a vlog but I didn't uh, feel like that was just by there so, again, I apologize for that. I appreciate you guys watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. I'm going to take a look at my subscriber account. I believe it's still at 66. Still trying to get to 75 by the end of the month, um, and uh, I'm pretty sure I will get there. So I appreciate you guys watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm going to post a second one here shortly.